Here's a look at the internals of a Dana 30 disconnect front axle. These were found in all YJ Wranglers and some XJ Cherokees. Mainly what late 80s early 90s I believe were the years that you would find these in. just a look at the three pieces and how this worked because this could free spin when it was in two wheel drive and this together and the collar slid over engages the front axle shaft this is the vacuum actuator that would uh, slide the collar back and forth on the axle shaft when you put it into four-wheel drive, vacuum would be applied and in the sliding of the fork would move this collar over to engage the two axle shafts together. Which actually worked and rarely did this part here fail. Normally the issue would be the vacuum actuator would just go bad and you'd just be hung up in two-wheel drive. Which on the trail totally sucks, you can't go anywhere. Now one trail fix, which I've done in the past, I actually had to throw this actuator back together. I had it tore apart, who knows why, just goofing around with it. But you can take a hose clamp, now one smaller than this just because you can't tighten it up enough. But you can put it down into here to actually hold the fork over to keep it in four-wheel drive. And that's just an easy trail fix, but just a temporary setup. Now on my uh, 94 YJ I have done away with all this and I have put in TJ axle shafts that I got out of a pick apart. Um, it's not like they're hardened steel or anything but it is a one piece axle shaft so it does away with all of this and you do gain a size uh, of U-joint. My uh, YJ did not have anti-lock brakes so it had a very small U-joint. So upgrading to a larger size is always good, no matter what situation is, if you're off-roading, in, in my opinion. But uh, just a quick look at how this stuff works. I know this is old school stuff and nobody really uses it anymore. But who knows, if you're someone just tinkering with a YJ or a Cherokee, an older one, that this, this might be helpful.